Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power 65 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So there we can see we have an electric dipole. And dipole's moment, dipole moment P and the ratio is given. I is given. And then this dipole is placed in a uniform electric field E. So now we give you three quantities, right? P, I, E. Tell you if this angle, so this is a third quantity, angle theta is given. Under what condition will it oscillate in simple harmonic motion? See, now how can we do that? Now we remember simple harmonic motion. That means it must satisfy the equation for simple harmonic motion. So we can we find the direction. First one, we can write down the function for torque. Why? Because we can consider Newton's second law. The torque equal to equal to equation times the angular acceleration. Agree? Because you can see if we put this dipole in this electric field, of course it will rotate because the electric force pointing to the right at the positive charge and negative charge is pointing to the uh, right hand side. There is a torque, agree, and the distance is L. So that means we can write the torque as negative PE sin theta. This is the winner in the textbook and equal to the E ratio times angular acceleration. Right? Yes. And then we keep going. Now, how could we express the angular acceleration? We find it is the derivation. Uh, with the angle theta with the time t. Thus, it is a second derivation. Second derivation, the angle theta with time t, right? So we can write it there. Now you can see we can input the alpha inside. It looks like this one. Now, next one. Because we need to prove the function for simple harmonic motion. Remember, we did it before. So it looks like there is no term equal to as sine theta or cosine theta, right? So it looks like we need to replace the sine theta. So how can we replace it? We can replace it with theta because it tells you we need to prove it is just uh, do the simple harmonic motion. For simple harmonic motion, this movement is very small, right? So the theta is small, sine theta equal to theta. So now we can see the next step, we can just uh, convert the, this uh, fun equation into this one. No problem, right? And then replace the sine theta as the theta. Now move this term to the right-hand side, you get the function look like this one. See, it is just as the function for the simple harmonics. And then this term, is equal as omega squared. Omega is angular velocity, right? So omega squared equal to PE divided by I. And also we know the frequency as omega divided by two pi. Therefore, we can input omega inside. It answers there. Thank you.